Hey friends, Michael Patton here. I'm gonna take some time to show you around my office. I'm really proud of my office. And I got some really cool things and stories that I can tell you just from the objects in my office. So here is a look at my current office. Starting at the desk I do my podcast from. All the way around here. You see how busy it is here. It's just lots of, lots of, lots of stuff. So, and, and I'm gonna, there's some dog food over there if you wanna see it. Um, what I want to do is first take you to this. This is the Net Bible. Now, I don't know if you know about the Net Bible. This is the full first edition that just got printed from a different publisher. But this is the actual first edition and first printing of the Net Bible. I think it's back in 2000. And maybe 2001 was the New Testament. And then after that, it was uh, 2003. I'm not sure. But I want to show you something that's really funny. Because all these Bibles, when they come out... They have, a, they have a story to tell. There's, there's just been some great stories throughout history that maybe I'll share with you as we go through this office thing it was like, as it comes up. But great stories about the um, Bibles and history, like the Adulterer, Adulterer Bible, which was one of the first printings of the King James Version, which said, you shall commit adultery rather than you shall not commit adultery. So a lot of funny stories about that. This one has a really funny story. This is the first edition of the Net Bible. Again, you should have a Net Bible. Why? It has so many notes. It's got more than 60,000 notes now. That's the unique thing about the Net Bible. It's a committee translation that is just amazing and incredible. It's my favorite study Bible. It's not my favorite memorization or reading Bible, but it is my favorite study Bible. And this particular passage I want to look at is from Proverbs. In Proverbs chapter 2. And this is where... God, or where, where the where Solomon is talking about the sexually loose woman um, that that deceives us and causes us to go in her way, and he talks about this a whole lot. But look how it, look how it goes through here. It says um, at this point two sixteen to deliver you from the adulteress, from the sexually loose woman who speaks flattering words. <laughs> now in his footnotes, notice all these footnotes. Let's go after this passage to footnote twenty one. And footnote 21, as we get here, let's see if I can focus in on it. Footnote 21. You see it there? You see at the very bottom of footnote 21? Look at the very last words of footnote 21. <laughs> it's a 1-800 number for the for the sexually loose woman, just in case you need to contact her. So it's uh, giving you some options there. I think this is funny. The story behind it has to do with uh, the person from Dallas Seminary, the, uh, the professor who was translating this at this time, um, got a call from an 800 number, I think it was credit card or something like that, that he needed, while he was translating, deep in thought translating, that he needed to call back. And so he said, give me your number, I'll call you back. I'm in the middle of something. And so he looked around for a piece of paper, looked around for something to write on. He didn't have anything. So he just put it in his notes as he's typing and thought he would, uh, you know, erase them later on. And he forgot to erase them. So we have got the number to the sexually loose woman in the Bible. I don't know if that adds any uh, credit. I don't know. I've never, I, I've only called this number a few times and I never, I never get the sexually loose woman. I'm going to keep on trying, see what happens. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Of course, I have never tried to call it. I, I don't suggest you do. I wonder if people have called this and said, hey, can I have the sexually loose one? I'm sure there are people that have if they've heard this story. That's the kind of things we do. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that part of a tour through my office.